Ohio State University has announced there will be no more in-person classes or seminars for the rest of March. Now at least one school district in the Pittsburgh area says it's ready to do the same. Rick Dayton reports. More than 4,000 students are enrolled in the Fox Chapel School District. I am very proud of our staff and the extra effort that they've put in, in a short amount of time in order to try and make sure that we are as prepared as we can be. They already do the basics. Hard surfaces are disinfected every day. Bottles of hand sanitizer and cleaning wipes are everywhere. However, they've also hammered out a plan for what to do if there were no kids at school. Is it going to be perfect? No, we understand that. And that's kind of the big concern with the coronavirus is the unknown. And until we're really into it, we're going to have to continue to problem solve on a daily basis to make sure we are tailoring our educational needs to our students. In order to make the plan happen, there has to be technology at home, and some kids don't have that. So Fox Chapel's going through an assessment. Maybe a kid needs a laptop. Maybe what they'll use is an iPad when they're at home. But if you don't have access to the internet, that's a problem. They've got that covered too. These MiFi units can go home with students and provide Wi-Fi access so they can put the plan in place. Classes can meet remotely. Teachers can hold office hours and video chats online. Assignments can be made and turned in. School will go on, even if the teachers aren't there. We have um, extra laptops that we're going to give out to staff mm -hmm. who don't have computers at home that use desktops here and don't have laptops. Parents may be asked to do more to help with their children's education, but with state mandates for days of instruction and the end of year testing, the teaching cannot stop. We're ready to initiate the plan. I feel that we're ready to ensure the safety and the well being of our students, staff, parents, and educational community. And through the whole process, the district will have technology help desk services available for families as well. In Fox Chapel, Rick Dayton, KDKA News.